I was a doodler and a drawer, and it was always about drawing and drawing. I thought painting was what fancy people did. I was one of those kids that drew on everything growing up, you know. My sister left her uh, college applications out, and I scribbled all over them. And my mom said, you left it out. It's fair game. You know how he is, you know. And uh, so there was always that encouragement. Joe's art is, it evokes so many different emotions depending on which piece that you're looking at. Joe Soren's renown was born from the lowbrow movement and he has really moved past that a decade ago or more and we are really happy to have him with us. I love seeing the progression of his work, and I love seeing that how, how great it's gotten and how big it's gotten and how it has a whole new gravity to it. I think he's a great artist. These paintings, what you're seeing, that's not what he started off with. It goes through this change. Underneath this painting, there are like a dozen paintings. The way I paint is less come up with an idea and then execute the idea. It's a uh, it's more like um, searching for the idea and, and being open to what arrives and then bringing that out. And sometimes while bringing that idea out, it will shift into a different idea. The first thing I do when I get a canvas is immediately cover it with, um, I mean, there's so many layers to these things. So first thing I do is get toner on there, you know, get like a yellow ochre. And, and then even just putting on that first layer, which I know is not aesthetic at all, I'm just starting to fill in the little weaves of the canvas after the priming. And even then, images start to suggest, as anything, you know, we all see patterns and things start to suggest then. And I had that sense of, I don't know what's going to happen. And that's what keeps me engaged in painting as opposed to just rendering ideas. The work recently, I have to say, his colors are just vibrant and it's, it's more than just the character. It's the, the atmosphere, the feel of his work. This is my favorite painting in the exhibition, The Magician's Apprentice. It reminds me that everything is possible because you can see he's attempting something that's absolutely impossible, but it's going to work. And it just makes me feel like everything comes together. I think empathy is a, something that I find I return to as a theme over and over and over. Something about the characters just being so so whimsical and playful, yet like there's this like severity to them. People say, you know, oh, that person's a jerk or that person's not a jerk or whatever, you know, and we, we walk around and but I find that we're all everything. I'm aiming towards empathy. I may fall short, but, but my aim is and so I think that that comes out in my work, that aiming for empathy and the failings of not quite getting there sometimes. It, you know, beyond the people that it's inspired, uh, that are copying uh, what he's doing, that there's a really inspiring, uh, you know, message within just the approach of what he's creating and how he's creating it. 